Yeah, good evening, Ruta Bay. As of now, there is no information that anybody inside the synagogue has been injured or killed. This is a terribly sad day for this community. It's still ongoing. This is still an active scene. Just to paint the picture for you here, uh, the synagogue is just down that road. You can see all of these police units leading down this one street that leads to that facility. The media is being staged here in a parking lot just um, a bit away. It's not only media, there are community members now showing up as well to, um, to just watch, to to express their concerns, to express their solidarity here. At this time, Ruta Bay, it is unknown, unconfirmed how many people are inside this synagogue, but all of this, this hostage situation coinciding with Shabbat service earlier this morning, which just so happened to be live streaming. At 11 o'clock this morning, Colleyville police were called to Congregation Beth Israel, a synagogue north of Dallas Fort Worth, holding Saturday morning Shabbat service. Inside, a lone suspect holding the congregation hostage, his hate filled rant live streamed through the synagogue's Facebook page. But there's something wrong with me, or there is something wrong in America. There's something wrong with this system. SWAT teams, the FBI, and a crisis negotiator quickly called in for backup. Area neighborhoods evacuated out of safety. At this time, authorities not revealing how or if the man is armed. He repeatedly warns the congregation he won't make it out alive. I would have died in this, all right? Are you listening? It's very sad for us as a community. The entire Jewish community is aware of this situation. I've had many calls from Israel. Harold Gernsbacker is the chairman of Secure Community Network, which oversees the physical security of more than 1,500 Jewish communities and locations across the country, including this one. We were physically trained in this building on August the 22nd. We had about 25 people in the building, including the rabbi. So they had at least some knowledge and training as to what potentially could happen in this type of a situation. This afternoon, the White House briefing President Biden on the hostage situation. Senator Ted Cruz, the U.S. Ambassador to Israel, and Israel's Minister of Diaspora Affairs, all releasing statements of support for the synagogue and Colleyville community. We don't know exactly what perpetrates their energy that says, I must, you know, assume control of some Jewish institution in order to make my point. And we just pray for the safety and the release of those that are being held inside. Yeah, just another terribly sad incident when one of the safest places that should be the safest place within a community uh, is targeted by hate. Ruta Bay at this time, for anybody just now joining, there's still no, um, you know, confirmed information about injuries or deaths inside. Can also tell you the mayor of Dallas, Eric Johnson, has also deployed backup patrols to Dallas area synagogues just in response um, to what's happening here in Colleyville to make sure that this is an isolated incident. Ruta Bay. And Marky, we see that huge police presence behind you, all kinds of law enforcement agencies there on the ground. We know they have made contact with the hostage, what can, hostage taker rather. What can you tell us about that? Mm -hmm. Well, it, yeah, there's so many different agencies here, uh, FBI, SWAT teams, state troopers even, and we have been told they made contact. I personally don't have information about what that conversation sounded like, but it's interesting. Uh, if you listen to that live stream, which has since been taken off Facebook, um, everybody inside seems to be listening to what this lone suspect has to say. He goes on and on. He repeats about um, Islam, what's wrong with this country. He admits he has six children himself, and he also acknowledges that he will likely die at the end of this and he says I hope I don't have to take anybody else down with me um, but at this time I don't know what those exact conversations have been like Ruta Bay as you know this is a fluid situation there's so much that is even left to be confirmed here about how many people are inside or what the scene looks like as of right now this is as far or this is as close as we've been able uh, to get to that synagogue Ruta Bay and Mark you've been a, a reporter there on the ground for for quite a while you know that community well tell us about this community of Colleyville. Yeah, so Colleyville, um, as you mentioned right off the top, it's just north of Dallas. This is a community I've gone back and forth to my whole life. We have good family friends here. This is a small uh, town suburb of Dallas. This is a family knit community. Everybody knows everybody here, and especially in this community, the synagogue, uh, you know that everybody here knows what's happening. The amount of people in this parking lot who have shown up today uh, just to provide support and, uh, you know, a, a shoulder. 
um, to cry on or to lean on has been remarkable. Um, but this is a small community who knows exactly what is happening here today. And several people that, that we've talked to just said this is a really sad day for the Jewish community. And uh, everybody here just praying that all the, the people inside the congregation comes out safely. Have you, have you been in touch with anyone who, who knows people inside, any relatives of people who, who attend that uh, synagogue? I have not been in touch with anybody who knows relatives inside. I have been in touch with a former FBI agent who one of her good friends actually attends this synagogue but is not here today. Uh, that, that person that I'm talking about is actually in Florida. She knows the rabbi well. Uh, in fact, I think we're trying to get in contact with her uh, you know, for the show a little bit later on. Um, but I haven't been in contact with anybody here, but you can tell that everybody, even if they don't know them personally inside, um, they feel as though they are, uh, they are in there with them. This is one community today here in Colleyville, as well as the Jewish community that resides here, Fruita Bay. And this is a massive law enforcement presence. The response has been huge. There is a, a law enforcement presence at every synagogue in the Dallas area right now as a precaution. And we see the lights behind you, but paint a picture for us what, what it looks like right now on the scene. Yeah, so Ruta Bay, our crew has been here for a few hours, and it is just flooded with media. It's flooded with law enforcement. It's Colleyville PD. Um, we know the FBI agents, crisis intervention crews, state troopers are up ahead, uh, working the scene closer to the synagogue. Um, but it is just flooded with people here tonight. We can tell you that Shabbat service started at 10 o'clock this morning. Colleyville police called in at about 11. So sometime between 10 and 11, that lone suspect came in and I know I was just reading about the synagogue a little bit earlier just on its website this is a loving synagogue um, they are all about family here uh, you know Shabbat service of course this morning about uh, coming together it's the weekly holiday the tradition of getting to celebrate a slowdown from the hectic week that you just had in fact Ruta Bay at seven o'clock tonight uh, a trivia night was just about to start here. That is no longer going to be happening, but um, we are here. This is still active and ongoing, and I don't think this scene will slow down anytime soon. And, and the hostage taker even mentioned that. That was recorded on a live stream. He thanked the rabbi for keeping the door open and allowing him in. He said he liked the rabbi. So that speaks to the welcoming environment that the synagogue has. Yeah, it, it really does. And uh, we know that, that this is a welcoming community, not only Colleyville, but, but this synagogue. And, and it does send, I, I'm, again, I'm not sure how many people are inside, but if you listen to that audio live stream, you can't hear cries, you can't hear screams from anybody there. It sounds like they're listening to what he has to say. It sounds like everybody is at least trying their best to stay calm. He has interactions with them at certain points. At one point, he asked a man inside, how many children do you have? sir. And then that lone suspect admits to them he has six children. He's going to go down in history, uh, but also admits that he's, he's likely not going to make it uh, alive out at the end of this. Um, but at this time, there's so much uh, that is still unknown, Ruta Bay, but it's still ongoing behind us again. This started at our police were called in at 11. They're now going on hour seven of this hostage takeover. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.